Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, well, we made it. We finally made it to South Dakota, and uh, it has been it has been absolutely uh, everything that we hoped it would be so far. So we left out in Nebraska. Uh, we had beautiful weather on the way uh, on the way getting here into South Dakota. That's the state park. You arrived, Dad. All right, we have made it to Custer State Park. Uh, we're at the uh, Game Lodge campground, and uh, so this is this is the view from the campsite. Uh, hard to complain about this view right here. Dylan, get some footage for his channel. He wants to get footage of. Got some beautiful deer right there, right out behind the campground. Think, man. Did you get some good footage of them? Yeah. I think yeah. you're going to need to see all of them. Yeah? What else do you think we're going to see here at this spot? Oh, man. Uh, we, we see some bison droppings over here, man. We'll see some bison. bison. And this is and this is, is where I, I love having a, an area bon bonk. Yep. So there's the windows for Dylan's room. And, then, but, and there's a the field. So he is pretty excited. That's how, I, that's how I knew they were so close. That's how I knew they were right across. We're staying at Game Lodge Campground and it is very, very close to Wildlife Loop Road. So after we got set up, uh, Dylan convinced us to take a trip on the Wildlife Loop Road. We weren't sure what our plans were going to be when we got in here that afternoon. But uh, Dylan put the hard sell on us and uh, wanted us to go drive the Wildlife Loop Road. So that's what we did and uh, it paid off big time. Um, it was, so I fought bison. Yep, we saw bison. What else? Did we see a pronghorn that day? Saw a pronghorn that day. Deer. Lots saw of deer. lots of deer. All right, we made it to Custer State Park. We were all set up. Um, man, what an amazing place already. We've only been here for a couple hours and uh, already just beyond impressed with this place. So Dylan uh, was really, really excited about seeing some bison. Uh, so we are going to take off uh, it's about six o'clock right now so we're gonna try to get an evening trip in on the uh, wildlife loop and uh, see what we can see you excited yeah and if we see if we see them, we're gonna feed the donkeys yep got Lots some carrots bats. in case you see the uh, the burrows out there buzz donkey buzz all right ready yep let's all go right, let's go <laughs> these are white tail those are white tail yeah look to the right mom there's a bunch more all right guys there bison, it is. Bison or not. Bison or not. <laughs> I waited forever to see this. I locked my window, Mom. Oh, there he is, Dylan. I saw my first ever bison. Well, I saw some captive ones, but... Dylan's no out of his mind right now. Oh, my Getting goodness. to see his very first wild bison. Right there. <laughs> Bison jam! Ah, oh, he's just walking by though. Here's a guy who just tried to cross the road. Boy, he did. Why did the bison cross the road? Get to the other side. <laughs> so we're on the way back to our campground after coming off the wildlife loop. And we spot these guys over here in this parking lot. Not far from the campground. He's five. Maybe, maybe we'll see some bison up here. Wow, look at that big oh. boy over there. Holy cow, that is awesome. Look at that big boy right there, man. Holy cow, yeah. Yeah, big boy. Look at that big boy right there, man. Holy cow, yeah. Yeah, big boy. 
Okay, you can buy the other thing. Good southwest on US 16 East. How awesome is that? Dude, you know, um, that'd be so cool to make me just smoke out every man to be vacation. Why are they not vacation? Amazing. What a great, great way to from our first evening in Custer State Park. Man, oh man. All right, so we wake up uh, this morning and uh, getting ready to get some coffee going. Pop the blinds open there. And uh, we have uh, some visitors out there this morning, right out in the field behind the, behind the fifth wheel. I mean, we've only been here, uh, we just got here last night, but I'm telling you, um, this place has been absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, just love it so far. Just an amazing, amazing first day here at, at Custer State Park, and we knew, uh, we knew there'd be some snow coming. Uh, we kept watching the weather. They were calling for like, First it said seven inches, then they backed it down to six inches, and then they were saying four to six inches. So can I make up the line? So we knew that we would have to, you know, we'd have one full day uh, where we'd have decent weather, uh, and then after that we knew there'd be some snow coming in. So uh, we took advantage of uh, of the day that we had some good weather. We drove the wildlife route uh, road in the morning time, and got to feed some donkeys. Yeah, that was uh, that was. That awesome. was a memorable experience. I said, I'm like, here's a memorable experience. Yep. Sure. Uh, we found the, the begging burrows there that um, <laughs> they like to hang out on the road and wait for people to come by and, and feed them. Wow. I'm going to have my mom record me and my dad feeding the burrows. Oh, yeah. here comes one. Dilly's coming up the road. Yeah. Oh, break oh the carrot in half. Oh. <sighs> my dad's yeah. feeding them. I don't know how to feed them. You just Look, hold they're it petting. Out. They're petting it. Hey, they're messed up. Oh God. <laughs> so, did you got any more carrots for me? Here, you want to hold this and give another? One? Sure. I'll try. I'll try it. Here. Here, give me another. One. Yeah, I got another. No, no. Hold it out the no, other door. This side. This side. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Thank you. There you go, boss. There Mom, this guy wants more. Well, we only got one left. Who's gonna get it, Dylan? And this guy, this guy, he has the guy. Right. No, no, this guy over here, that guy. This guy is coming. He wants to up. wait for the guy coming. Oh, up. this guy coming up. All right, guys. Sure, right, guys. guys. Uh, you, you guys got your kid. Uh, this guy looks like he's uh, a little. Yeah, you want to give him to him? You can give him the last Yeah, he one. looks old. Yeah, I have to, that's why I wanted to feed it to him. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> He looks old. Look! I don't got any more for you. Dusty Dirty Joker? Dusty Dirty Joker? You got one on your side too? This guy's looking for more cows. <laughs> got nothing else for you, boss. Look at this guy. Look, look what he's doing. He was giving his teeth stuck. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's go. So, sorry right. guys, I enjoy feeding you, but I don't got any more. So, Dylan got to feed him some carrots. So he was super excited about that. Those things are crazy. They will, uh, they will come right up with no issues and stick their head right in your window. They have no yep. problem. So we should have bought more than two carrots. And the rangers and, and everybody, there's there's no issue feeding uh, feeding the burrows. They're they're they were domesticated burrows that got turned loose a long long time ago. So everybody feeds them. Uh, that's the only wildlife that you're allowed to feed uh, because they really don't even qualify as as wildlife. But uh, they're pretty funny. They're pretty entertaining. <laughs> yeah. But the other animals that we got to see the second day that we didn't see the first day also were the prairie dogs. Yep. Did you like the prairie dogs? Yeah. Prairie dogs were cool. Well, I see a prairie dog. Size of our camera. They're tiny. Yep. But just because they're tiny doesn't mean they're not cool. Well, 
And then at the end of that, um, after we did that, we came back and got some lunch, and uh, me and Dylan decided to go out and try to do some uh, do some fishing. There's some beautiful lakes um, here inside the park. We've been wanting to get out and try to catch some trout. That's something that we've not caught before. So uh, we headed on down to Legion Lake, and and I'll, and I'll take over the All right, he Dylan, Dylan will tell you what happened after that. I caught my first trout. How many casts did it take to catch it, Dylan? It, well, I'm pretty much. Let's cast it out there. First cast, I get, I get a bite. That's it. Using a pink and blue inline spinner. That was the ticket. One cast, one fish. So. Um, we had a couple other ones that we hooked that pulled off real close to the shore. So yeah. uh, the fishing, so that was a, a, a great outstanding, spot. outstanding time there. Um, and then uh, when we finished up fishing, we came back and uh, went ahead and started getting everything put away outside because we knew that um, that the next day there'd be some snow coming, and uh, it did, big time, big time. Uh, Dylan waited all day for it, watching the weather, giving us an hour by hour update of where the storm, where <laughs> yeah, the snow was. It was more like was. minute by minute update. <laughs> so he come busting in the room at 7 a.m. telling us that the snow was going to start in one hour. And so. I it down. So it that, took a little longer yeah. because we had some rain come through before it started snowing. Yeah, so it started off as rain, then kind of turned to snow. But once it did, once it did get here, it, it, snowed, it snowed. It snowed a lot. Went out and uh, had a, a little miniature snowball fight, and uh, that I won. I think I was the winner. No, fight. I'm pretty sure I was. No. So, and this was a white Easter for us. So, oh, um, no white Christmas, a white Easter. Dylan got to do an Easter egg hunt in the snow, and we built a snowman, and a little duppy snowman. Yeah, we woke up um, Easter morning. Uh, man, the amount of snow that built up overnight was was tremendous. Yeah, it was tremendous. It was crazy. Is it? Cause crazy. It was not at two thirty in the morning because somebody should have checked the apartment before they went to bed. Somebody. And they woke me up and somebody named somebody named somebody named, named Dave. Yeah. What was the temperature when you woke uh, up? Fifty five. Fifty five. So I thought it was a little chilly, and I was right. <laughs> guess what the next move was? Waking me up, telling me that the heater wasn't working. And yeah, I, I had a pretty that. good feeling. Uh, we had some friends of ours that kind of told us uh, that they this happened to them uh, when they were in some cold and temperatures snowing. and it was snowing. So I had to make a 2:30 run out and uh, switch the propane tanks real quick. 2:30 yeah. Doesn't take long, but you know, getting woke up and having to go out and uh, I think the temperature at that point was um, somewhere in the low 20s and snowing still. Yes. So. Uh, trudged through the snow, switched the propane around, and uh, got us all warmed back up. But um, so yeah, that was that was kind of a not so fun experience. But uh, <laughs> yeah. it's part of it. It's part of it. Part it's of the part deal. Of it. <laughs> so it's been a really unique experience for us being from Florida and yeah. Not being I know, I know we now. probably sound ridiculous, but <laughs> if if any of you guys are from Florida, you understand. <laughs> yeah, it definitely. Uh, Definitely a very unique experience for us, and uh, we're, we're enjoying every bit of it so far. So we're, we've, uh, when it stays up here at Custer, we're going to go to a to a private campsite with full hookups. Um, even though the water still won't be on yet when we get there, uh, they, oh, yeah. they do have a, a hydrant where we can fill up the tank on the fill up the tank in the fifth wheel um, and fill up our extra water tanks. And uh, but 
it does have a sewer hookup and stuff there too. So and I drink in sewer. Yep. Yeah. So go to full hookups when you get caught up on some laundry. Um, and uh, spend some time there and then uh, and I, we've uh, decided we're going to come back and spend some more time here at Custer State Park um, without all the snow and uh, venture out on some of the hiking trails that they have. The place is just, I mean, I mean this place is amazing. Um, we, we, woke up, yeah. we woke up after our first night and we woke up to bison in the field right here behind the behind the fifth wheel. Um, so it's, it's been, we've had mule deer come out, you know, come down the hill. Um, just been a outstanding, outstanding experience all the way around and uh, we are excited to get back here and, and really explore some more of this park and bring that to you guys as well. And then at the end of our time at Custer again, that'll bring us up to our stay where we're going to be staying at in Hill City for the work camping experience to begin. So once we finish up, uh, like she said, our stay here at Custer, our second stay here at Custer, it'll be time to go back to work. So, uh, which I'm looking forward to. <laughs> You're looking forward to it? Well, he's been looking forward. He's he's enjoyed his time off and doing all this fun stuff. But he's looking forward to getting back to work and making some money. And yeah, when you make some money, how do you think we're gonna pay for all this? Um. <laughs> I mean, it's been it's been very enjoyable. But you know, as somebody that's I mean, I've never been without a job. I mean, I've, I've always had a job since I was you know since I was 17 years old. I mean, and I've I've never not had a job. So um, to not have a job and just take all this time off and uh, I've enjoyed it. You know, we've enjoyed all this time and seeing all the things that we've gotten to see so far, even though our plans changed, we've still got to see and experience a lot of different things um, that, that we've really enjoyed. But, uh, but yeah, so, um, you know, starting something new, um, starting a new job there will be, uh, be another new experience. Uh, looking forward to getting started on the work camping job, um, bring you guys, you know, our, our thoughts on the work camping experience. I know it's going to be a little different for a lot of people uh, with some stuff being delayed opening and, and things like that because because of coronavirus as known uh, as COVID-19 COVID yeah. but uh luckily for us um you know our, our work camping job is is on time and uh scheduled to start on time so uh we'll you know we'll give you guys our thoughts on that and uh bring you guys some more footage of around south dakota and black hills and uh i think that's it for now yeah that's it Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, follow us on, on Instagram, Facebook, like and Pinterest, and Pinterest, and I keep you on the way. Bye guys. Alright, we'll catch you guys down the road.